at five starts now. The countdown to the green flag is nearing an end. The 108th running of the Indianapolis 500 is less than four days away. The largest crowd in nearly a decade is expected for this year's race from getting to the speedway to keeping you safe inside. And we have team coverage tonight to get you ready for the big weekend. We begin with I-Team 8's Cody Fisher and the police department's plan to get you to the speedway safely. With the Indy 500 parade, the race, and the Eastern Conference Finals, IMPD says this is an all-hands-on-deck situation for their officers as they pound the pavement downtown. And out here at the track as they control traffic and make sure that everybody is safe. Saturday and Sunday this weekend are canceled days off for IMPD officers. We realize that it is, uh, requires a, a heck of a lot more manpower to make sure that we keep our citizens safe on weekends like this. But it does take a lot of planning, a lot of planning, um, months. All of that planning will culminate over the weekend with IMPD officers all over the city. We will have officers in uniform, we'll have officers undercover, some you won't see. One of the main functions will be traffic control near the track. Every vehicle that goes in and out of the track will go through a security check. Our officers will be involved in that. To complicate matters this weekend, the Eastern Conference Finals Game 3 will be on Saturday night. Officers will be dedicated downtown to making sure traffic moves smoothly and people going to the game are safe. IMPD says all of the extra attention paid to the track and downtown won't impact safety in other parts of the city. No effect to our neighborhoods. Um, the citizens, when you call 911, you'll get an officer to show up just like any other day. IMPD says the one thing they need from people coming out to either the track or downtown this weekend is patience. Reporting at IMS, Cody Fisher, IT Mate, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.